Anyone that has ever had to work with mailings will greatly appreciate the new mailings tab. It takes the old nasty mail merge feature in Word and turns it into something completely easy. For example, let's go ahead and go up here to our office button and create a new document. We have our new document dialog box, which is very nicely laid out. And how about we take a look at a memo and select it. You can download new ones incidentally at any time from Microsoft.com. You might want to put your company name here. Now if we want to create a mail merge, we fill in all of the pertinent information. Now notice again as we've started a new document, the ribbon has intuitively gone back to the Home tab where all of our formatting features are. We'll click back on the Mailings tab and see we can select recipients and you can Use your Outlook contacts for mail merges. Use an existing list, maybe a database from Microsoft Access or Excel, or you can type a new list right here. And we're gonna keep this really simple. Say okay. And it wants us to give it a name. We select our list, insert our merge fields, and as always you want to remember to put a little space between each field. And you can preview your results nice and easily, you see. This really simplifies the process, and this is a wonderful, wonderful upgrade to Microsoft Word 2007, taking the complexity out of doing mail merges. You also have your Review tab, which is a great collaboration tool. If you're working on documents with a group of people, you can add comments to your document. You, for example, would select what you would like to add a comment to and click and just add your comment. Notice on the comment you get the initials of the user. You can add quite a bit of information in here and I'm going to click off of it. And you can scroll through the comments. So if you're saving these on a server where people could have access to them easily, people can be going back and forth working on the same document, or you can be sending it back and forth to each other, whatever works for you. But at any rate, you can track the changes that have been made by the various users. You also can add a balloon feature. You can accept changes, reject them, and go back and forth between them to look at them. You can also compare multiple versions of a document, having them side by side. And you have protection features, which are more easily accessible here in the ribbon than they ever were in older versions of Microsoft Word. And of course, here you have your View tab. You have your Layout buttons, which you always have handy right down here, too, in the bottom. You have your guidelines. You can have your ruler showing or not. You have your Zoom feature. And if you have more than one document, you can choose to view them side by side. Now here's a real cool feature of the new Microsoft Office. When I am viewing documents side by side, look what happens when I scroll in one. They both scroll down together, so I am looking at the same part of the page in both documents. This would be especially helpful if you're looking at the same document, but maybe it's been altered by one person and you want to compare the two. Now I'm done with this, so I'm going to close it 
and I'm back to my single document. And if you happen to have Adobe Acrobat, you will see an additional tab for Acrobat. If you don't have it, you won't see that tab. 